Delicious! Their dedication and skills of chefs around the world create the ultimate tastes in cuisines. Find out how the touch of a chef can give birth to a marvelous dish. White kimchi inside okonomiyaki, the traditional Japanese dish that allows you to mix your favorite ingredients all together okonomiyaki. On today's crunchy kimchi, we'll try making okonomiyaki with white kimchi. What kind of dishes have appeared in films that show the tastes and lifestyles of common folks? We reveal the foods that have captivated your eyes and taste buds on screen on today's Style and Taste. This looks good. I think I was 12 or 13 the first time I invited my friends over for some dinner. I thought it'd be nice to cook them something. But when I grabbed the cookbook, that's when all the chaos started. It was the size of an encyclopedia. The cookbook said I had to chop up the carrots into five centimeters. I didn't know what to do. I thought I'd grab a ruler, start measuring them out, start chopping them. Then there was my mom just watching over me. She says, no, you take the carrots and you, they're this, less than the size of an index finger, you chop them. That's five centimeters. I guess that's the know-how of the masters. Well, the know-how of the masters, which I'm sure comes with a lot of slaving over the oven and stuff, a lot of time and effort that goes into it. Well, the hands are always there when they're cooking. We're going to meet the heroes that go with the hands here on the flavor circuit. I want to get some more of the salad. In a beautiful melody, a composer's spirit can be felt. And just like a masterpiece made through days of dedication, great tasting cuisines are complete only with the special touch of a devoted chef. We'll now introduce the dishes that prove what a chef's touch is all about. Traditional Korean dishes that carry a history of 5,000 years. The refreshing and charming dishes of Korea. Where do they get their unique flavor and scent? The taste of the dish reflects the chef. Meet Chef Kim Won Sung. He has made a traditional Korean dish, Kujol Pan. It's a dish that has seasonal ingredients and one that can be wrapped in a thin layer of flour. Colorful ingredients that make your mouth water. You can choose from nine different kinds. Can we eliminate some of the ingredients that are difficult to prepare, you ask? No way! There is a special reason there are exactly nine ingredients. In our quest to create the ultimate taste, preparing the nine ingredients shouldn't be as difficult as it seems. The ninth ingredient is the flour dough, which can't be too thick. It's important to make it a thin layer. See how thin you can make it? The delicacy with which you place the ingredients will show how much love and care you put into the dish. This is definitely dedication and action. Koreans refer to a dish prepared by skillful hands as food that lets you experience what's called the special touch. It's a saying about how the hands of a chef determine a dish's taste. But there is another meaning to the phrase, a special touch, and it has to do with dedication. They say the more dedication you put into cooking a dish, the tastier it gets. Then let's see if this applies to Japanese food as well. As fresh seafood is used for much of its cuisine, preserving freshness is the key. And when it comes to Chinese cuisine, there are so many ways to cook a single ingredient that the variety of dishes is endless. Dedication is poured into each and every ingredient of the Kujo Pan. The colors seem to reflect its marvelous taste. Customers are amazed by the sight of the dish. Do looks make up half of a dining experience? How does it look? Customers <laughs> 
customers start digging in, eager to taste the food. They wrap up the nine ingredients to experience the perfect culinary harmony. غذای خوشمزه ای بود غذای ایرانی هم خوشمزه است ولی این غذا را من خوردم خیلی خوش آمد حتی مثل غذای ایرانی مثل غذای ایرانی بود خوشمزه بود دی اهو کازی که هم باید سپوزار پنیرینده ککچای ماشی آجو سنگسنگه نتنا اینگه قسم نیدن فرش سی فود و رایس که میکن فور پرفیک پیر دو سمال و سایز این گرد تیست هست بین پریز در این دو ورل They say there's a special know-how to making fresh and delicious sushi. Dexterous hands determine this. Enter Chef Yun Young Jo. First, it's crucial to slice the fish in an adequate length and thickness, which takes years of practice. Now it's time to place the fish on the rice with wasabi. Doesn't this look simple? Don't answer too fast. There is a hidden know-how to making this sushi. Take a closer look at how the chef handles the sushi. After grabbing rice with one hand and placing the fish on top, he grabs it together once again. If you watch carefully, you can detect the quick movements of the hands. Is there a reason why they move so quickly? For most Korean dishes, it's important to bring out true taste through putting forth a lot of effort. This is even more important than whether or not you've got a special skill. And the taste of most Chinese cuisine stems from a pan commonly used in cooking called a wok. The taste also depends on the chef that handles the wok. Just because it was made quickly doesn't mean the dish didn't require plenty of dedication. The finishing touch is a must. The fresh flavors of the sea can be tasted in a single bite. The representative food of Japan, sushi. Try a mouthful. How great would it be to experience the chef's special touch in a single bite? The chicken is very delicious. It's really delicious. In China, you'll come across a whole lineup of great dishes. It's no wonder China is called a heaven for food. Aha! Uh -huh. The representative food of China is handmade noodles. But wait! The food we'll be introducing today is a bit more extravagant. Power and fire combine to create the ultimate in taste. It's Chef Zhang Sun Chewy sea cucumber with shrimp. Sea cucumber is one of China's star foods. Thinly slice the shrimp and stuff it inside the sea cucumber. Cut it in bite-sized pieces and deep fry them. Cook the vegetables and make the sauce separately. Mix it all with the fried ingredients. Why is the process so complicated? In a single dish, you can taste about 1,000 flavors. China's sea cucumber. Sea cucumber stuffed with shrimp. A single bite might blow you away, as you will be enraptured by its taste. The sea cucumber is in the first place. I've eaten it like a tiger. 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 Today's lesson is to never underestimate food. After all, the dedication poured into a dish is not to be taken lightly. I think that the food is a good thing to do with the food and the food. I think that the food is a good thing to do with the food and the food. I think that the food is a good thing to do with the food and the food and the food. I believe that the various special tastes that come from the hands of different countries across the world are the mirrors of those countries' cultures. If you take the three different tastes from those hands that we just witnessed, it would produce one of the best chefs in the world. Well, if you're mentioning special hands and special preparation, you can't forget crunchy kimchi. Crunchy kimchi meets up with the simple dishes of Japan. It travels all the way across the East Sea, and let's see what the combination looks like.
Kimchi is gaining fans worldwide, especially in Japan. Kimchi can easily be found in supermarkets and convenience stores. Then, what kind of taste will you get if you combine kimchi with Japanese cuisine? Let's find out! On today's crunchy kimchi, we will make Japanese style white kimchi with okonomiyaki that is filled with fresh seafood. Clear white kimchi that makes your mouth water. The fillings of okonomiyaki that will create a positively rich taste. Squid, shrimp, and bacon. Onions that bring out the scent and flavor of vegetables. Then prepare yam powder, gachobushi, and various seasonings. On today's crunchy kimchi, let's try making a Japanese-style kimchi fusion dish. White kimchi okonomiyaki with fresh white kimchi and seafood. 오늘의 요리는 바로 오코노미 야끼인데요. 오코노미 야끼에는 원래 양배추채를 썰어서 넣지만 저는 여기에다가 백김치를 썰어서 한번 만들어 보도록 하겠습니다. 오코노미 야끼의 뜻은 말 그대로 자기가 좋아하는 것을 구워 먹는다라는 뜻을 가지고 있는데요. 자기가 좋아하는 재료, 자기가 좋아하는 야채든 고기든 아니면 해산물을 넣어서 만드시면 되는데 저는 제가 좋아하는 해산물, 바로 오징어와 베이컨 그리고 새우를 넣어서 한번 만들어 보도록 하겠습니다. Slice the bacon into bite-sized pieces after removing the intestines of the squid and shrimp. Cut them up as well. Next, thinly slice the white and green onions. You must also slice today's main ingredient, kimchi, very thinly. The kimchi is cooked well. Just like this, you have to cook it with the water. But you can enjoy the taste of the kimchi later. If you like kimchi, you can also add the red kimchi. 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 But the red kimchi is the red kimchi. You can also add the red kimchi. 빨간 김치의 할아버지 격인 김치의 원조라는 사실 알고 계셨나요? Preserving a long tradition and history, kimchi. It is said that kimchi originated from the desire to keep food for a long time by preserving it in salt. According to the records in Dongguki Sangu, kimchi became a side dish enjoyed throughout the four seasons in the 13th century. During this era, Kimchi was white rather than red because it was seasoned with mustard, fennel seed, garlic, and various spices. Then, kimchi underwent various transformations as red pepper was introduced by Japan in the 1600s. Then, after 200 years, red pepper powder was introduced, which was widely used to season the kimchi and give it its red color. 숙지료 준비는 이제 모두 다 끝났고요. 오코노미 야끼의 포인트 바로 반죽을 만들 차례인데요. 반죽은 바삭바삭하고 그리고 끈기가 없는 것이 아주 맛있는 반죽을 만드는 지름길인데요. 저는 거기에다가 조금 더 맛있게 하기 위해서 막가루를 이용해 보려고 합니다. Rich in sugar, protein, vitamins, saponin, calcium, sodium, and other nutrients is the alkaline food yams. Yams help reduce sugar levels in blood. Prevent intestinal cancer and more. To avoid getting itchy when you peel the skin of a yam, you can apply oil or olive oil on your hands. Hmm. This yam I just ate today. It's not too sour, not too sweet, but it has a very pleasant taste. It reminds me of the taste of the yam. Okonomi yam's role is 바로 반죽을 부풀어 오르게 해서 부드러운 맛을 내게 하는 그런 역할을 한다고 합니다. 지금부터는 어, 오코노미 야끼의 반죽 본격적으로 시작해 보도록 하겠습니다. Mix flour, yam powder, pepper, salt, water, and white kimchi soup in a bowl very well, so the ingredients don't create chunks. 지금부터는 오코노미 야끼의 맛을 좌우하는 두 가지의 중요한 소스를 만들어 보도록 하겠습니다. 첫 번째 소스는 바로 케첩을 활용한 소스인데요. Add four tablespoons of ketchup and two tablespoons of Worcester sauce and one tablespoon of soy sauce. The sweet and sour ketchup sauce is then complete. Next is the mayonnaise sauce. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of white wine, and one tablespoon of sugar. Mix it all well to create the mayonnaise sauce. 
이렇게 해서 소스까지 완성이 됐고 아까 반죽했던 거에 썰어놨던 재료들을 넣고 모두 섞어보도록 하겠습니다. 저는 우선 백김치를 먼저 이렇게 듬뿍 넣을 거고요. 제가 좋아하는 베이컨과 그리고 새우 그리고 오징어 그리고 마지막으로 야채를 듬뿍 넣어보도록 할게요. 오코노미야키는 아까도 말씀드렸듯이 정말 자기가 좋아하는 것을 구워 먹는 거기 때문에 오늘 꼭이 재료가 아니더라도 냉장고에 있는 어떤 재료더라도 다 사용하실 수가 있는 장점이 있습니다. 이렇게 해서 골고루 저어주시면 되는데요. 와, 푸짐하죠? 어느 정도 반죽하고 여기 있는 속 재료들하고 이렇게 다 어우러지게 되면 여기 옆으로 가서 이제 본격적으로 구워보도록 하겠습니다. Pour enough oil into a pan. Cook the prepared mixture in a round shape. Flip it as you cook until it turns golden. It's crucial to make it a bit thick for guaranteed chewiness. Wow, 누릇누릇하게. 음 고소한 냄새까지 아주 잘 구워졌는데요. 자 이렇게 오코노미 야끼가 완전히 다된 것이 아니라 아까 만들어 두었던 소스 두 가지를 마저 뿌려서 완성해 보도록 하겠습니다. 이첫 번째 이렇게 소스를 지그재그로 뿌리신 다음에 아까 하얗게 만들어 두었던 마요네즈 소스를 지그재그로 이렇게 뿌리시게 되면 보기 좋은 떡이 맛도 좋다고 정말 맛있어 보이죠. 여기에 마지막으로 가추구시 이렇게 뜨거운 김 있을 때 이렇게 뿌리게 되면 하늘하늘 춤추는 거 보이세요? 자, 이렇게 되면 오늘의 백김치로 만든 오코노미야키 완성입니다. The rich flavor that stems from the shrimp, squid, and various ingredients, including the sweet and sour white kimchi. The two different sauces add to its richness, as does the gachobushi on top. The Japanese-style white kimchi okonomiyaki is complete. 한국 속담 중에는 금간산도 식구경이라는 말이 있는데요. 그 뜻은 아무리 좋은 구경이라고 해도 뱃속을 채워야만 그 구경할 마음이 생긴다는 뜻이겠죠. 요즘 주변을 둘러보면 바빠서 제때 식사를 챙기지 못하고 하루 종일 쭉 터진 억지로 돌아다니시는 분들 굉장히 많은데요. 먹는 게 힘이다. 잊지 마시고요. 이번 주말에는 백김치로 만든 오코노미 야키로 입맛도 살리시고 삶의 활력도 한번 되찾아보시는 건 어떨까요? On today's crunchy kimchi, we tried mixing the Korean traditional food kimchi with a Japanese traditional cuisine called okonomiyaki to create a very special dish. Mm, that's good. When you're eating good food, you want to keep coming back to that same spot because of the incredible taste. When you're hanging out with cool people, you want to keep the relationship for a long time. When you watch a good movie, I mean, there's just that memory and the sensation that you get. If there's a movie that you really cherish, have you ever been interested in the foods that are presented in there? Well, there's a lot more to those dishes in the movies than you think. Today, come join me inside the movies. We're going to examine those dishes very thoroughly. Three single women have gathered to make kimchi. It's tough work, but as a Korean, it's a necessary part of creating a great meal. A country's dining culture determines the way one lives, and people's daily lives, in turn, are portrayed through times. Two detectives are investigating a case, and their sole goal is to capture the criminal. One cold winter night, as they wait for the suspect, they think of a way to fight the cold weather. Kimi, what? What? That's right. On a cold winter night that'll even freeze your lips, there's a dish to thaw even the toughest detective. It's Sollongdang. This bowl of soup has made them forget about their duties. They are completely mesmerized. To boiling beef broth, add lots of meat and a bit of white noodles. Sprinkle a bit of salt and pepper to create the perfect taste. Sprinkle in some sliced green onions and it's done! A weighing needle accompanies thread. 
Radish kimchi called saktugi must be served with a bowl of salongtang. It eliminates the odor from beef and helps with digestion. 먹고 나면은 어, 뒷맛이 아주 깔끔한 게 좋습니다. 날씨가 춥다든지 또 이제 그 비가 오는 날이라든지 이런 날은 이게 생각이 납니다. A seven-year-old boy named Sangwoo happens to move in with his grandma one day, who lives in the countryside. The boy can't seem to get adjusted, so the grandma suggests something. But since the grandma has no idea what fried chicken is, she prepares a white chicken broth called pig soup. As there is miscommunication, the kid starts to whine. That's right. The white chicken broth that tastes as pure as the countryside isn't a flavor most kids like. After all, it doesn't have much seasoning. However, if you add ginseng and jujubes that revitalize the body, it becomes a nutritious, low-calorie dish. As Sangu can't resist his hunger, he sneaks into the kitchen, and after tasting the chicken peksuk, he realizes the love of his grandma. Soldier Lee crosses a bridge that must not be crossed at the DMZ, which divides North and South Korea. He makes friends with the North Korean soldiers as he frequently goes over. One day, he passes out some chocolate pie. <laughs> North Korean soldier Oh loosens up upon receiving the pie. <laughs> The chocolate pie that all Korean men fall in love with upon going into the army. The chocolate pie in this movie carries many meaningful messages, including that of sharing love and sorrow. But many seem to carry fond memories of this chocolate pie. 군대에서 한 10개 가까이 그냥 한 번에 먹어본 적 있어요. 아무래도 눈치가 보이니까 화장실 가서 몰래 이제 뜯어서 먹기도 하고 그런 식으로 했어요. 말로 표현할 수 있나? 그거는 뭐 다른 거랑 뭐 비교할 수가 없죠. 제일 맛있었던 것 같아요. Even for ordinary folks, a chocolate pie carries the message of sharing. 친구 생일에 초코파이에 촛불을 꽂아가지고 생일을 축하해 준다든지 또는 뭐 등단 같은 데갈때 초코파이 반쪽을 나눠 먹으면서 어떤 경험을 했던 이런 것 상황들이 존재했었다라는 거죠. 그래서 그 맥락을 잘 활용해 가지고 정이라는 컨셉으로 광고를 만들었는데 그러다 보니까 사람들이 아 바로 그랬어 라는 어떤 공감을 불러 일으켰던 것이었죠. 그래서 지금은 초코파이 하면 정을 또 올리게 되는 그런 상황적 맥락이 형동이 됐다라고 말씀드릴 수 있겠습니다. A father and his ill son go on a cross-country journey. When it is time to eat, the son cooks ramen while singing and sharing his secret recipe. The kid doesn't have many days to live, so he dreams of living an ordinary life with his dad, just like this, as they share noodles. Everyone wants to be ordinary at times, just like the simple dish of ramen. Ramen was first introduced to Koreans from Japan when Koreans were poor and hungry. Due to the spicy flavor of the soup, it has become one of the most desired dishes sought by Koreans nowadays. You can spot ramen just about everywhere you go, and it has a variety of taste as well. A man who has lived on fried dumplings for the past 15 years in confinement, Oh Dae-soo. Upon his release, the first place he visits is a sashimi restaurant, and the first word that comes out of his mouth is... 
먹고 싶다고 했다. The chef of the restaurant offers him a live octopus out of all the creatures alive inside the tank. Tesu gulps up the entire octopus in one mouthful. The live octopus seems to show his desire for revenge. Koreans love this sort of seafood. Usually, live octopus is sliced in thin pieces and dipped in sesame oil. Or hot pepper paste for the best flavor. Is live octopus too weird to eat? Octopus is often referred to as the ginseng of the sea. That tells us how nutritious it is. People cook the octopus as well. There is a huge variety of dishes made with octopus, such as octopus fried rice, sujebi, and more. If you want to enjoy the true taste of an octopus, why not try one of these dishes? Delicious movie cuisines that please both the sight and palate. Don't be surprised if your mouth starts to water. In the movies about a mafia in the 1930s, Goodfellas, the mobster has glamorous meals that they pay with with the money they get from drugs and assassinations. Even when they were in jail, they were having delicious foods and wines and cheeses and all the things you can imagine. In one of the famous chase scenes, Henry, one of the characters, he has time to be worried about the meatballs and the sauce. He yells out, stir it well so it doesn't stick to the pan. I mean, it's crazy in the middle of a chase scene. Well, cooking, it's a relaxation for us. It just gives us a chance to get away. Here at Food Delicious, we want to be that relaxation, kind of a vacation for you.